Before beginning to explore some of the many more advanced features of Radar Opus, I think it might be best to master some core features that will come into everyday use in the clinical setting. This initial set of tutorials will focus on the practical tasks of accessing the repertory and assembling and working with a meaningful analysis. I'll go on to add a few bells and whistles that I find of practical use in daily practice, and later on I'll add some tutorials and advanced features offered by the program. First, let's be sure that the program is set up as we'll need it without the distraction of features that might just get in our way at this point. We want only the synthesis repertory open, for starters. So to assure this, click on your application window to make sure it's active, and then find and click on Window in the main application menu and select Close All Windows. Now click on the red repertories icon in the main toolbar and find and click once on Shoyan's F Synthesis in the list of available repertories and wait a moment for this to open in the right hand documents window. At the top left of the document window, find the views drop down menu and select quantum view. We'll talk a bit about repertory views later on, but this is a good place to start. If you wish, you can change the size of the displayed text by using the zoom in or zoom out icons in the top toolbar. Now open the search bar by clicking on the spyglass icon in the top toolbar. And from the search in drop down menu, select current document only. And now you can close the search dialog tab by clicking in the small X in its upper right hand corner. Now we might wish to access other books later on, but for now let's hide the table of contents by coming down to the lower left hand corner and clicking the hide the table of contents tab. Now, notice that you can later show this table of contents if you wish, but for now, we're only interested in working with the synthesis repertory, and the display is now larger and less distracting. Now, Radar Opus remembers your last used settings, so if I were to now close the program and reopen it, I'd return to these settings just as they are now. Your setup should now look like the one I have here, and you're ready to move on to the rest of the tutorials in this series.